Hello, this is Kat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. It's been a little while since I posted a video. Um, I think it's been, oh, getting on for over two weeks now. Um, I had my son off on half term, um, so I didn't film that week, half term being like a school holiday here in the UK. And then last week, do you know, I was, I was just I wasn't up for it. I was tired. I wasn't feeling myself and I just didn't do much diamond painting, didn't feel like getting much done. So I had a week off, but now I am back. And that is in no small part because I have an unboxing to do. So Diamond Art Club have done it again. They have suckered me in when I'm not supposed to be buying things. But I had a little bit of spare pocket money. <laughs> And this kit came out the other week and I just really, really liked it and wanted to get it. So I have here today Life of Tigers by Marisha Becker. And um, there's lots of detail in this picture, so I'm not sure how much of it you can see in this teeny tiny picture, but I'll show you more as we go into it. So it's a square diamond painting and it's 55.8 centimetres by 70.7 centimetres. So I'm going to get into this now. It always used to be just round numbers for Diamond Art Club. It would be, you know, just like 70 by 55 or something. I like it when it's in the um, in decimal points because that says to me that this is going to be a really precise, tight drill field, which means that the diamonds will fit really snugly. It's something you see with their newer diamond paintings that have new square drills. So... my things out of the way and <laughs> come out of practice and um, apologies as well if the lighting is weird in here it's obviously we've had um we've gone back to Greenwich Mean Time here it's no longer British summer time so my husband and son have just gone out to do some photos for my son's football team and normally at this time in the past it would have still been light but now it is pitch black so I've got to figure out my nighttime lighting wow this is oh Gosh, that was packed in tight. I hope this is okay. It's a little bit, I think that's been a bit squished by the old toolkit. So I'm hoping that's not too creased. Let's see. Oh, actually, I've put the box aside, but I want to put my sticker on. That's what I always do first. So with Diamond Art Club, you get a lovely little sticker here. And I like to put them on the side of my box for ease of storage just so when I store them and they fit in my cupboard best if I have them this way, I can see which one it is. Okay, let's have a little look at the toolkit. If I can't get this all to fit in neatly in the box, I might have to store the toolkit separately because that seemed to be not helping with the tightness of the packing there. Okay. So we have one of Diamond Art Club's newer style toolkits. It does say on the back what we have, but let's have a quick look. Okay, so we have, ooh, a black pen and squishy. That is cool. I haven't seen those before. We have a little roll of baggies. We have tweezers because it is a square diamond painting. You only get tweezers with square diamond paintings, but given that they then last forever, <laughs> I've got a lot of these. You get a seven placer and a four placer. Um, I previously have only really been using four placers, but I'm quite excited to get more seven placers for my stash because I've been really practicing with those recently and starting to use them more. And these thin plastic ones do wear out and need replacing. Then I've got my little caddy with two plates of heart-shaped wax. The Diamond Art Club pink wax is pretty good amongst pink waxes. It's actually one of the things I use most often because you can get waxes that will last longer in your pen. But I have so much of this and it does last a good long time. It's, it's not like, you know, some of the cheaper ones that wear through really quickly. I've got some lovely washi tape. It's pretty, isn't it? So people use this for either sectioning up um, their painting to work on covering up the plastic covering or going around the edge um, where there's that little bit overlay of, of sticky glue past the picture. I don't tend to use it for that much at all. I just like keeping them <laughs> and I, I use them for other things now and again. Then we have a cover minder. 
I love the cover minders. I've had a few little clouds recently when I've bought them. I, I must have like four or five little <laughs> cloud ones. So hopefully I'll get something different next time, but it is sweet. And we have the tray and stopper. So I'm going to put all those away and then we'll get stuck in to the painting. Right, everything's packed neatly away in my toolkit. So let's have a look at the actual canvas. Diamond Up sends their paintings in these dust bags, which are just a good extra level of protection. This one is very firmly stuck down. <laughs> oh goodness, I've had to rip that right open to get in. I'm not normally stuck down that much. Oh well, it's just about reusable. So, let's see, is this going to be really creased? Certainly got a few more creases in it than I'm used to. Can you see how that's really dented? Hmm, we shall see. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, it's so nice and colourful. Right. What I'm going to have to do, I think, is fold this back on itself, get it laying flat, and then I will pan over it so that you can actually see the whole picture. If you don't know what I mean by rolling it back on itself, with poured glue paintings, which probably the majority of companies seem to be making poured glue paintings these days, uh, the higher end companies anyway, you have this clear cover and it just refers to the kind of glue on the painting. So you can, to flatten out your painting really quickly, fold it back on itself like this and you won't do any damage to the glue. With other kinds of glue like double-sided adhesive, you cannot do that. Right, this painting is probably one of the more creased ones I've ever had from Diamond Art Club. So this is quite a deep ridge and this one here and there's a few others but I don't All right what I'm gonna try and do where's it gone it's not so bad because I've lost it already if I take the plastic cover back and then put that back down again does that help a little bit yeah probably okay so here we have it let me tilt this up so you can see the whole thing. Isn't it beautiful? I'm a sucker for animal paintings and I'm a sucker for colours. So that's what really drew me into this one. I think it's going to be so fun to work on with all these really bright pinks and yellows and then lots and lots of black. So the colours are going to pop out from the black. It's funny when you see the image on the canvas actually because when you look at a picture of the painting it's like really clearly a tiger's face and then on the canvas there's so much black and dark colours around here you kind of lose some of that so that will really come to life when I work on it and, and fill in the actual painting if that makes any kind of sense. So what else have we got? Nyman Art Club always sends you this thank you for your purchase leaflet which includes things like some discount codes, some tips and tricks, some instructions if this is your first diamond painting. Also an in invitation to their VIP Facebook group which anyone who has purchased directly from them is entitled to join. And that's a really good community for just chatting to other diamond painters, getting tips and tricks, all that kind of thing. You also get a sticker sheet with sticky labels, individually cut sticky labels for your storage pots, which I really like. So as you can see, we've got 55 colours here. So that's a really nice range. And four of those are AB drills, which is Aurora Borealis drills, drills that have an extra special shiny coating on them to reflect the light from the drills around them more and just bring sparkly accents to the painting. Under DMC code 150 is an AB drill in Diamond Art Club's numbering system. Not for other companies necessarily, but for them. So I've got four of those to spot when I have a look at the drills. So here are my drills. Wow, look at all that black. So you can really see the range of bright colours when you look through the side here. 
I love it. I'm not going to get all of these out. I'm just going to peer in there because I like to keep it in shape so I can wrap it up again. Um, but I will have a little look and see if I can show you some of them in a bit more detail. That relies on me being able to get into the bag. <laughs> I can't currently find the end. Oh, so smooth. Where is it? Okay, so the first thing that stands out to me is a lot of black drills, 310. So if you see on the painting, and you'll see more when I do a pan over it in a moment, um, all of these squares that are black dots, well, black squares with a white dot, all of them are going to be black drills. And you can see there is a lot of that. So I can see one two, three, four, five fairly big bags of 310. Actually, I thought it might be more than that when I looked at the canvas. So there is a lot of black in here. Um, with some companies, if you get lots and lots of black square drills, you kind of groan a bit inwardly because for some reason, and I don't know why it is, but darker colours tend to be more likely to be trashy, you know, to, to be the drills that you have to discard because they've got knobbly bits or they're misshapen or whatever. With Diamond Art Club, it tends to be okay because they now make their own drills in-house and they're really good and uniform and it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm not too worried about that. Now, I see some ABs jumping out at me, so... Here is a lovely big thick bag of a sort of buttery yellow, pale butter yellow. I don't know, I'm not good at naming colours. Can you see those? Hopefully there's not too much glare. And then down here, I see another one with a brighter yellow. Yeah, that's more of a butter yellow, isn't it? So do you see what I mean about the coating on the top? And then we have white. I feel like almost all Diamond Art Club paintings have white AB drills in them. And there was one more. There was a red, wasn't there? Is that it? Nope. Here it is. So there's just a small number of... Oh, it's it's... A sort of pinkish red, actually. I'm not sure how well that shows in the viewfinder, but yeah, it's got pinky tones. So, lots and lots of beautiful, vibrant colours in there. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. It sort of reminds me of the artwork of Dimitra Milan, who is another artist that Diamond Art Club stocks, and all of um, that artist painting seemed to be a person, usually a woman and an animal. So like I have a, a tiger one with a lady on it from them. This one's obviously missing the person, but it sort of gives me those vibes. But it's even more colourful than those often are. They're, they're sometimes a bit more muted. Just, you know, different artists, different styles. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll probably have heard me banging on about how much I like colours. <laughs> colours being bright and fun and varied is a key motivating thing for me in a diamond painting. I really get bored using the same colours over and over again or if they're really, really muted or whatever. So um, I am going to pan over this, give you a closer look at it. Um, and then we'll just pick out some of the details a bit more after that and see how this is going to be to work on.
Okay, so that pan gives you a little bit of insight. It was a, it was a bit of a short pan over the canvas because I realised I was going to really struggle to film without shadow um, just because of the lighting I've got in here. So I've kept that brief. I just wanted to draw your attention to the tiger's eyes because I think they're going to look amazing. There's actually not many drills, are there? They're like little patches of light amongst all the black, um, but it's really going to pop out when you look at the actual artwork. So if you look at the sticker there, they're like these lovely little blue islands amongst it all. And then down here we have all this stripey effect, which I'm not sure what that is, but I like the colours. And I also think I'm really going to enjoy the flowers. So up here, you've got lots of pinks, which is a colour I like to work with a lot. And over here, again, the pink flowers. There's a lot of detail there. You can see twos and threes. So twos. Xander! Sorry, that was the cat ripping at the curtain. <laughs> so you've got twos and threes and they indicate AB colours. So those pale and not so pale, buttery yellow AB drills that we saw earlier, they're gonna be peppered through these flowers, loads and loads of accents. Looking down here, you can also see lots more of those ABs here. And this four is for the white AB. So that's gonna be sparkled through this area. And what about the 1AB? I see a little patch down here, so that's the red. I'm saying the 1AB because that's the code, um, in case my garbled explanation isn't clear. And more in another flower over here. So basically, I think the ABs are very much flower accents to make the flowers sparkly and pretty. And then a lot of the effect from the tiger comes from the bright colours being juxtaposed against the black, black, black bits. Because you've got all these black free 10 sections, which are going to be good and quick to go through. There is another one there as well. Um, that L code 3371. I think that's like a really dark brown. So yeah, bit of shading going on. So there we have it. The life of tigers. One of my favourite sizes to do because it shouldn't take too long and I think this one's going to be super fun. I'm really glad I picked it up. So that's it from me today. I will be back again soon. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please consider liking and subscribing the video. It really helps me to grow the channel. Um, also, do take a look at the info section on this video. I have a couple of affiliate links in there now. So if you've never bought from Diamond Art Club before and you would like to use an affiliate code that I will make a small percentage from in order to make your first purchase, I do have a link in there. Um, and I also have a link um, which will give you a discount on Crafted Makes, who are a brilliant pen turner based here in the UK. And they're well worth checking out as well. Okay, thanks very much for joining me today. I'll see you soon. Bye.